Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is the first news on today's on um, 9th March newspaper front page. Don. PDM Felix Gilani, former Senate Chairman, establishment warned against interference in Friday poll. Committee asked with finalizing names of candidates for opposition leader, Deputy Chairman. Moniz refutes reports Bilal sought his party's support by Amir Hussein. Islamabad, the 10 party oppositions, Pakistan Democratic PDM on Monday formally nominated Sayyid Yusuf Raza Gilani of the Pakistan People's Party PPP as its candidate for the office of the Senate Chairman, but deferred its nomination so far the offices of a deputy chairman and the opposition leader. Mr. Gilani, who caused a major upset by defeating Finance Minister Mr. Abdul Hafiz Sheikh in the March 3 Senate poll on a general seat from Islamabad, will face incumbent Chairman Sadiq Sanchanani, who has already have been nominated as a candidate of the ruling alliance headed by the Pakistan Tariq and Saab, PTI, in the election for the top Senate office for which polling will be held on March 12. Addressing a news conference after attending nearly six hour long meeting of the heads of the PDM component parties, the opposition leaders want the country's establishment and the intelligence agencies against interference in the upcoming election and vote to bring all the facts before the nation if any such attempt is made. PMLN's Supreme Leader Nawaz Sharif and PPP's Asif. Islamabad PDM leader Samalana Fadlur Rahman, Bilal Bhutto, Zardari, Maryam Nawaz, and others pictured at a press conference on Monday. Tanveer Shazad, White Star. Zardari also participated in the meeting through video link. Later, PDM President Maulana Fazlur Rahman told reporters that to finalize the names of the remaining two Senate offices, the opposition parties had constituted an eight-member committee under the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz PMLN, Senior Vice President Shahid Khan Abbasi, the committee comprising Raja Parvez Ashraf, Mia Iftikhar Hussain, and Dr. Jahanze Jamaldini and Tahir Bisenjo, Osman Kakar, Akram Durani, and Hafiz Abdul Karim will meet in Islamabad on Tuesday today to ponder names. Sources in the opposition told Don that the nomination of the candidate for the office of the deputy chairman was put off when a smaller parties from Balochistan claimed their right to the opposition to the position. At the meeting, Dr. Jamal Dini, Jamal Jamali Dini of the Balochistan National Party, Mangal BNPM, came up with the demand. It was on the proposal of Mr. Bhutto Zardari that the PDM leaders agreed to constitute a committee for further deliberations on the issue. The PPP chairman said, since the government had also not yet nominated its deputy chairman candidate, and they could also take more time to finalize the name with a consensus. Planned by Mr. Bhutto Zardari and PMLN Vice President Mariam uh, Damas, Marana Fazl, Fazl, and declared that their anti government long march would start from across the country as per plan on March 26 and would reach its destination on March 30. Uh, he said that to decide on the modalized modalities modalities about the long march, 
including its place and duration at other meetings of the PGM leaders that will be held on March 15. On the occasion, the PPP chairman hinted that the PGM's long march might uh, culminate at famous um, Fazabad Interchange, saying that the Fazabad is a place situated both in Jalpindi and Islamabad. The sources said the PML and Supremo suggested to other parties at the meeting that the PDM should stay a sit-in in the Dalpindi can cantonment area of the symbolic protest. Mr. Sharif, uh, the sources said, was of the opinion that they should submit their resignations uh, from the assemblies before starting the long march and to uh, make the event decisive. Mr. Sharif, in his speech, regretted the use of agencies by the government in the uh, Senate elections as well as the Prime Minister's controversial trust vote in the National Assembly. He once suggested uh, converting the PDM into an electoral alliance and uh, even assured the participants that if the PMLN emerged victorious in the general elections, that he would leave the decision to the PDM to dominate the Prime Minister. Molana Fazal at the presser. Um, condemned the uh, manhandling of the PML and leaders by the PTI workers outside the Parliament House on March 6, when PM Imran Khan took the vote of confidence in the National Assembly. The PTI goons attacked the PML and leaders when they were holding a news conference, said the Maulana, adding that not only about the a respectable PML and leaders insulted and um, humiliated. They even disrespected Jamariam Aurangzeb. This is the culture the MBTI leaders are inculcating among its workers by lamented. He lamented. The Maulana said that the trust vote obtained by the fake prime minister had no legal form, moral, um, and the constitutional sta standing uh, since the National Assembly session itself was unconstitutional. Under Article 91, Part 7 of the Constitution, he said, it was the sole discretion of the President to convene the Assembly session, and the Prime Minister could not send a summary to this effect. The PDM chief said that in the meeting they had reviewed the recent elections and noticed that the intelligence agencies had been used to influence the voters in an unconstitutional and illegal manner. The meeting demanded the interference of the intelligence agencies in the Senate election and warned that if they adopt the same attitude in the elections of the Senate chairman and the deputy chairman, the PDM will be forced to place the facts before the nation, he declared. Foolish steps. The Maulana also criticized the government for challenging Mr. Kilani's victory before the Election Commission of Pakistan ECP, terming it a foolish step if Mr. Gilani's elections, election had been thrown, what bothered the Prime Minister to secure a fresh trust vote, he questioned. Mr. Bhutto Zardari expressed the hope that the ECP would play its role as it did during the recently held by elections in the country. He said they also expected that courts would not allow any force to host our candidate from the Senate Chairman Trace. The PPP Chairman said if the elections were held in a free and fair manner, then Mr. Gilani would win the Senate top office. He said they wanted to see every institution and to work within its domain. PML and Vice President Mariam Nawaz questioned the ruling PTI's 
um, decision and to nominate to use the candidate to the Senate chairman office, despite knowing that the opposition had a majority in the upper house of parliament. He said the government's candidate would only win um, either uh, through the use of money or the agencies. The prime minister used to give lengthy lectures on the use of money at the Senate poll and the open ballot, she said, but the nation was waiting to see whether the government Uh, would also issue an ordinance seeking open vote for the Senate chairman election. Uh, responding to a question, the mother denied and that um, and there were any differences, denied that there were any differences in the alliance over the nominations of the offices of the Senate deputy chairman and the opposition leader, saying they simply needed more time for um, brainstorming and discussions. In response to a question, the Moderna said the issue of moving a uh, reconfidence motion against the Punjab Chief Minister did not to come up under discussion at the meeting. On this occasion, Mr. Bhutta Zadari clarified that he had met the PMLQ Chief Chaudhry Shujat Sutan in Lahore on Sunday only to inquire about his health. He, however, said all the options, including no confidence motion and the resignations were still available to them and they would use them with the consensus. He said he would not make any announcement on his own and every decision would be made from the PDM platform. Ms. Navas, however, said and the PML, PMLN and did not want to replace another man from the ruling alliance in Punjab, saying it was the sole right of the PMLN to form government in Punjab that still had a majority in the provincial assembly. Earlier in a tweet, PMLN quiet leader Munisi Lahi, uh, who is son of Punjab assembly speaker Chaudhry Pervez Lahi, had also refuted the reports that appeared in almost all major newspapers that the PPP chairman had sought the PMLQ support of its candidate for the top Senate office and for the opposition proposed, um, proposed no confidence motion against Punjab Chief Minister Usman Buzdar that the PMLQ had reportedly refused. No such thing happened. Bilawa Bhutto said that he did not ask for support in the Senate and nor uh, did we offer. Uh, he came to inquire about Chaudhry Shujat Sahib's health, for which we are grateful, wrote Mr. Ilahi on his official tweet, Twitter account, which also carried an image of the front page of the English Daily with the headline, Chaudhry says no to Vilava. At the meeting, the sources said to Mr. Bhutto Zantari and took the credit to for the PTM's victory in the recent bipolars and Senate elections, as it was upon his proposals that the other opposition parties changed their decisions to bypass the elections. The ANP and the BNPM uh, represent representatives endorsed the PPP chairman's claim and praised him for the strategy. The sources said that on the occasion, PPP's Kamar Saman Khaira and JUP's Avas Nurani had a verbal clash when the latter criticized the PPP for not supporting the Maulana during the election of the president more than two years back. The other leaders, however, intervened and said that there was no need to discuss the past. And in the end, the formal request, if you have not yet, please subscribe our channel and press the like and bell button to get the fresh from us. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time and goodbye.